Hi, this is Ryan Webb at Ryan Webb Construction Limited. You're here at Bishop Store for renovation again. We're currently in the walk in wardrobe. Um, as you can see here, we've got three sliding doors. Still currently unfinished. We've got two mirrors to go on either side of these doors. Inside, we've got this aluminium uh, framework, and uh, you pretty much build it bespoke. You cut it to size fit it in with the rails and you've got like a shoe rack down here and the way we've designed this is to leave a section out here so we're going to have uh, two drawers we're just going to get from say Ikea or something like that and they're just going to go in there and just really make use of this space. <laughs> So we're in the ensuite bathroom. In here we've got this uh, big feature mirror wall. Behind it we've got these heat pads which stop the steam. So it's quite clever really the way we've done it. Uh, we've got two sections like mirror size above his and hers basins. And when you are having a hot shower, um, it can obviously steam, it's, it fills the whole mirror up with steam, but you'll be left with two sections enough, big enough for you to see yourself in which will be uh, demissed. So you, you'll be able to see yourself. So it'll be, it'll be quite nice when you get out of the shower, you'll be able to see yourself when you're brushing your teeth in the morning. Quite convenient. Um, we've got the same feature throughout in here with the oak worktops. Um, the same thing throughout with the in, uh, semi-recess uh, basins. Behind me, we have the shower screen. It's like a walk-in shower screen. Um, it's all fitted, um, the, the shower uh, with uh, the rainwater head. Um, and obviously again, underfloor heating. All, all, the whole theme throughout this uh, flat has been to, for simplicity and uh, concealment. So we've got like the concealed systems and we've tried to make everything work uh, as if it wasn't there, but really is. Uh, if you follow me through, we can go into the other bathroom and I'll show you uh, the way we've designed that. <laughs> So we're in the main bathroom. Uh, as you can see, we've, we've got a similar theme throughout with the two bathrooms, or the ensuite and the bathroom. We've got the oak worktop, the semi-recessed basins. Uh, in this particular bathroom, which is the main bathroom, we've got this slate effect rippled porcelain tile, uh, which is really good with uh, the way we've used this mirror feature. Um, it really creates a really good ambient glow around the outside and it looks really incredible. Same again, we've got the concealed systems, the underfloor heating, and uh, in this particular bathroom we've used uh, a shower slash bath, so you've got the convenience of both. Um, the, uh, this is my favourite bathroom in the house, obviously I really love the, the features and the, the LED strip lighting underneath, it's really nice and warm in the evening time, so if you wanted to have a bath, stick some candles on, stick, uh, stick your light in just to really create a mood and really relax in the evening. Um, let me take you through to the other bedrooms and show you those and um, yeah. So we're in uh, bedroom number two. Not a lot's really gone on in here, apart from the decorating, obviously underfloor heating as well. In the old cupboard uh, open storage centre areas, we have US made a sort of inset oak shelf, and uh, it's it's really it's really good use of the space. I think um, any other space would just been a door and just loads of things would have been crammed in. It makes good use of that area. Um, obviously, again, the painting with new doors, skirting and architrave. And um, this room in particular, it's got uh, these lights which uh, coordinate with your um, like PlayStation, your Xbox and change colour with different themes. So that's quite an interesting little feat of this room. Obviously again, each room has a little thermostat, the underfloor heating, but um, yeah. <music> So 
we're in the kitchen. In here, we've uh, fitted a Benchmarks kitchen. It's the Holborn White Gloss Range Handleless. Um, the worktops are a Cambrian, a black Cambrian blue speckled, uh, which come in from America. Um, we've obviously got uh, underfloor heating throughout in here. It's all been decorated. And uh, the main feat of this room would be this island uh, sort of peninsula section here, which is um, an oak, a solid oak breakfast bar. And it's more, almost like a lollipop, well, it is a lo lollipop shape and uh, it creates uh, a center run, which you've got these nice uh, uh, copper lights, which sort of run through the center of it. So almost like a runway as such. Um, we've obviously uh, done the skirting and the, the architraves, the doors have all been changed. Um, the customer is currently, uh, the client's currently moving in. So as you can see, there's some bits on the shelves, but um, we're nearly done. So um, yeah, let's go into the next room. We're in the living room. As you can see behind me, we have the TV which we installed. Here to the, my left, we have uh, the same sort of idea we fitted. Uh, in the bedrooms with the oak veneer um, inset shelving. This particular one's going to have a light and it's going to have a glass shelf. It's going to look really nice. Just really nice feet sitting next to the sofa. You can have like uh, your network points, um, maybe just stick, may, just some ornaments, something simple. Um, again, flooring throughout, um, skirting, all decorated. Uh, this room's really nice. It's got a lot of natural light in it. Um, and it gives you so, so much floor space. You can just, you can sort of plan your living room to be really open plan and work with you. So freedom of movement. You can sit, lounge, maybe have a chair over there to read. Obviously you've got all the natural light as well, which is perfect for that. As you can see behind me, we have uh, the French, uh, French doors, a sort of balcony. Um, it's looking out onto an amazing view. We have the church. We've got uh, the lovely grounds outside that are really well maintained. Um, also, we have uh, these little channels in a wall which keep uh, the surround sound really neat, hides all the cables. You can channel them through. Um, this, this has got such beautiful light, this room. The surround sound is going to work with this theme with uh, like a, in, um, a middle island sofa um, where the surround sound could be like sort of uh, triangulated with a sonar bar. It's going to be really comfortable, really nice place where you can sit down and relax. Um, and, and just really like let loose after a long day. So this is the end of the project. Um, we've got uh, a few extra bits to do, but just little things that we haven't really uh, accounted for as we've gone along uh, on, on the journey. We've realised that we might want to change a few things. A client's decided he wanted a couple of extra little bits here and there. So we're just getting through those last bits. But I thoroughly enjoyed the experience. It's been really nice. I'm happy with the outcome. Like anything, you have your ups and downs, but it's not, uh, it's not about how, uh, um, it's all about how you react and how you get out of these situations. Um, that really make uh, make a job. I think um, I think it's been a really good experience, uh, and the quality is is there, and it's looking amazing. The, it's been a bit quirky with some of the different aspects of the job. It's not your your typical renovation where you just throw a kitchen in and you just put uh, any old thing in and try and make it work. There's been a lot of thought. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of collaboration with the client where we talked about different ideas and designs, and we've come up with uh, what I think is a really a really well thought out um, uh, layout and plan, and everything everything looks amazing. Um, this is real. This is this is. Um, I'm really glad you guys come. This is project number two uh, and I hope you stay tuned for project number three.